All right, let's get in this word, amen? Amen. Yes. Amen, amen. This morning I will be coming from the book of James. All right. Book of James, first chapter. And I'll be reading verses 12 through 15. Yep, 12 to, through 15. Book of James, chapter 1. Verses 12 through 15. Amen. All right, the scripture reads, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And in sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Right. Amen. I have read James 1, verses 12 through 15. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. 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 Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, once again, we come to you in your son, Jesus' name. We thank you for your grace, Father God. Yes. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your righteousness and your faithfulness towards us right now, Father God. And Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to preach your word, yes. to receive your word right now, Father God. We thank you that we can still go to church freely right now, Father yes. God, without worrying about persecution and coming to the church and, and being martyred right thank now, you, Father Lord. God. And we just, we just say thank you, Father God. Yes. And help us to realize, Father God, the, the freedom that we have by walking in your statutes right now, Father God, and walking in your obedience. And Father God, we pray that we will continue to grow right now, Father God. We pray, Lord, that we will surrender our ways to your ways right now, Father God. And our thoughts for your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And we just continue to pray over this church. Yes, and we believe that if we continue to trust and obey you, Father God, the possibilities are endless right yes. now, Father God. And we just say thank you right thank now, Father you, God, Lord. for your word. In Jesus' name we do Jesus pray. Name. Amen. 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 All right, so this morning, I just want to, I want to talk about winning the battle over temptation. All right, okay? amen. Winning the battle over temptation. All right, so as, as a body of Christ, okay, as a body of believers, we will always be faced with some type of temptation. Mm -hmm. Okay, can everybody agree with that? Yes. All right, we'll always be faced with some type of temptation. I wish I can tell you. That when you give your life to Christ, right. your, your, listen, your, your, your flesh will surrender to everything God tells you to do. I wish I could say right. that. I wish I, could, I wish I could say that once you give your life to Christ, that Satan just going to leave you alone. Amen? I wish I could say that. And, and, and I've heard people say, because a lot, of, a lot of people think that after you give your life to Christ, all right, you become this perfect person. Okay, and you 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 walk in all kind of perfection. That, but that's you know I, I've heard that over the last couple of weeks. A man, a young man, was, was talking about that. He, you, you, they think if you when you give your life to Christ, all your problems are over. No. You're not gonna do anything. A man, and you walk around perfect and sinless. A man, but those of us who, who who who've been walking with Christ, first of all, we can testify that we know that that's not true. That's right. Okay. Can, can we testify yeah, to that? Yeah. A, 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 amen. All right. Actually, that's just the beginning oh, of a lifelong geez. process oh, of sanctification. <laughs> amen. Jeez. That's all it is. Once you give your life to Christ, okay. it's a lifelong journey yes. of a sanctification process. Okay? okay. And in that process, you're going to fall. Yes. Okay. Yes. In that process, you're going you, you to mess up. But, but, but the process, y'all. I love God so much because in that process, what he does, 
He first of all, he shows us our ugliness. Yes, yes. Okay? He show, he shows us what we really need help in. Yes, but at the same time, with his loving hand, he's trying to cleanse on, us on, and he's trying on. to transform on, us right. to be come more conformed to yes. his son. Yes. Okay? Every and, and, and this is the thing. It's a journey of mm -hmm. a series of tests and trials. Mm -hmm. Tests and try. Yes, amen. Yes. And and the more we lean and depend on God, amen. We be listen, the thing about it with God, every 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 trial, every situation, like I said, is 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 is, is designed to, for us to be more conformed, all right, to the to his son Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what am I trying to say? As a as a believer in Christ, right, we when we give our life to Christ, it doesn't make us sinless okay right. but as we grow in christ as we as we begin to grow in his knowledge grow in his wisdom we do suppose to sin less that's uh -huh. right do you feel that's what i'm saying right. yeah. all right? right okay so we're in agreement with that right yeah. because when when you when you begin to grow in your spirit when you begin right. to grow in your spirit right. man right. you start to produce fruit okay yes. and we we know we've seen we 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 heard it preached before the, the, the person on the inside of you who you feed the more, feed, feed the most, that's who's going to win. You, if you feed your flesh, what, what does scripture say? The works of the flesh are evident. And it goes down the list. Do you feel what I'm saying? So if you never feed your, listen, if you never feed your spirit this word, amen, you can't expect to win the battle over temptation. That's right. Okay, you gonna you gonna always fall. Uh, listen, you gonna always stay in the same right. mindset, Amen. And the same temptations gonna always All trip right. you up, Amen. And sometimes it ain't even tripping us up. We All willfully right. go yes, into that right. thing. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. We can't we can't blame that on just just tripping right. up or I didn't know what I did. No, we willfully walk into yes, that thing. So so we have to get to a place, y'all, to where we're feeding this spirit. And like I said, when, when you feed the spirit, it starts to produce fruit, amen? And you start to produce the fruits of the spirit. And one little, listen, one fruit of the spirit that sticks out to me, okay, when you're talking about, when you're talking about winning the battle over temptation, and that's that, that little thing called self-control. Yes. Amen? Yes. That, that's a fruit of the spirit. Did, yep. did, you, did right. you know that? That's a yep. fruit, of, just like love, yeah. peace, joy. The, 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 that, that is a fruit of the yeah. spirit, self control. <laughs> Jesus. Self control. Huh. Amen. And, and, and listen, we, we, we're living in a generation where, we're living in a generation where, especially with church folks, right. you're so consumed about controlling everybody else. All right. Jesus. Amen. You're so consumed about con controlling everybody else. Looking at what everybody else is doing, and you you fail to look in the mirror yourself. Yes, yes. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? You fail to look in the mirror. You see the dot in everybody else's eye. Oh, amen. Right. While you got a plank in your eye, right. and that's that's what the Bible says. <laughs> you 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 see you see that little that little, that little speck in right. everybody else's eye, mm -hmm. but you don't see that log, amen. That's it. That's in your eye. All right, that, and that's that, that was no mistake. That's why scripture says that's right. self control. Do you feel what I'm saying? Self control. Yep. All right, so so listen. If, even in even in this, we're talking about fruit. All right, like I said, you you have to you have to nourish the spirit. Yes. Amen. Yes, the, the tree that's nourished the most and rooted in Christ. Those are the trees that produce fruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So talking about this 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 winning this battle. Okay, winning this battle over temptation. And I look at this as, as winning in any area in life. Mm -hmm. You first of all have to develop the right mindset. Okay? Right. You, th there's no way around it. Because really, that's really where the battle starts at. In the mind. Mm -hmm. Okay? It starts in the mind. We have to develop the right mindset so we can start looking at looking at life. Looking at situations, amen. Looking at the things that happen with the right perspective, okay. With the right perspective, if you never study life, if you never study your own habits, if you never really study what's going on, you're gonna continue to just walk down the road blind. All right. Okay. That, that's why Paul said, "Listen, examine self." That's what he said. It's time for us to just take a step back. 
and ask ourselves, why do I keep doing this? All right. Do, do, does anybody ask that question? Mm -hmm. Or do we just continue to just, just live life like it's, like it's nothing? Ask yourself that. As believers, right. we don't expect this from the world. All right. We don't expect this from the world. The world got their own step. Matter of fact, my, in, in, in my opinion, okay. listen, the world can't be tempted anyway because they don't, listen, they ain't fighting against nothing. All right. They, they, that's, All right. they, they in the mess anyway. All right. Do you right. feel what I'm saying? When you was in the world, you ain't thinking about meeting no, no godly standards. Right. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. You, you're not worried about meeting no godly standards when right. you're in the world. But as believers, all right, because of who we profess to be, right. with our lips, mm -hmm. with our lips. All right. And, and that's what scripture said. You serve me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Why did he say that? Because, listen. So as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That's why he said, your heart is from, far from me because your actions say different than your mouth says. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. Your actions say something totally yes. different Jesus. than what your mouth is professing. That's why, you, you don't, you don't. I told y'all before, when I run into other Christians, if they lead off with, I'm, I'm Bishop so-and-so. Okay. I'm, a, I'm apostle this. Yeah. Well, I believe in y'all. I start stepping back now. Yeah. I know who I am in Christ. I ain't gotta lead off with this. And I'm pastor now. such and such. That's Do you right. feel what I'm saying? Start to just listen to people. Mm. All right. Because sometimes those are smoke screens. Those are just smoke right, screens. Man. Right. Amen. I'm serious. The, the more you just listen to people, oh, you don't have to lead. Let your life right. be an example. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Let your life speak. Let your life speak for you. You ain't gotta prove to other people who you are. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, 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 like I say, in that, we have to get to that place where we're developing the right mindset. So, when you talk about winning the battle over temptation, okay? Scripture tells us there's a couple of different ways that we're supposed to look at this thing. First of all, Scripture says, "Let no." Man, let no one say when he is tempted, is tempted by God. Okay? Everybody agree with that? Yes. God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Okay? He can't be, temp he, he can't be tempted by evil, and he does not tempt anyone. God, does, God never tempts us to do something wrong. Do you feel what I'm saying? God never puts something in our path. All right, with, with the expectation for us to fall. All right. All right? All right. But this right. is what scripture says. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires. That's right. right now. Is that what y'all Bible say? Jesus. Okay. But 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 each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires. desires. Okay? And it, and it goes on to say, and enticed. I thought about when he said he's drawn away by his own desires. Drawn away from what? Okay. Drawn away from, drawn away from what? Okay, like I said, those who are in the world, they're not drawn away from anything because they're already in it. Right. Do you feel what I'm saying? You're already, you're already in this. But when he says we are drawn away, you're drawn away from walking in the obedience of God. You're drawn away from walking in holiness, okay? You are drawn away, actually, from your purpose. All right. you, you, you're drawn away from what God has called you to be. You're drawn away from your greatness. Every time you, every time you give in to sin and temptation, you just got off track to, to the, from the direction God is trying to take you. Is anybody agreeing with me on that? So every time you, 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 you get off track and you're drawn away, you're drawn away from what God has for you. And what does the scripture say? I got plans for you, son. I got yes. plans for you, daughter. Yes. Amen? I got plans to prosper you. Yes. But you keep getting drawn away by your own desires. Jesus. Amen? So, 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 what, so what do you want God to do? Right. Amen? When we keep getting drawn away, then we, then we go into prayer. We go into real prayer. Then when we're drawn away and now we're in a mess, Lord, please help me out of this. Right. Please help me do this. Okay, but you've done that yourself. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel what I'm saying? And then scripture goes on to say, and enticed. Mm -hmm. Enticed by who? The tempter. Mm -hmm. By Satan. Mm -hmm. Amen? You're enticed 
And this is the thing about Satan. This is the thing about Satan. When you talk about enticing something, okay, you, you, present, you present something that's evil as if it's good. Do you feel what I'm saying? You're not enticed to be do something. The flesh ain't gonna ever want to do something good. All right. All right. Let's just get that out there. The flesh don't ever want to do something, anything good. So if you're trying to do something good, the flesh gonna always tell you to go the opposite direction. That's right. And man, so you're talking about being enticed. He first of all, Satan knows all of your struggles. Oh, yeah. He knows what you struggle with. Yep. That, 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 listen, it ain't no accident that that woman walked by you with, with hardly no clothes on. All right. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. That ain't no accident. That ain't no accident that that dude walked by you with that cologne on that you like. All right. Amen? Do, do you feel what I'm saying? That was, that's no accident. That's enticement. Okay. That's being enticed. I'm, right. I'm serious. Why well, you think it's a commercial come on when you're trying to fast? Now it's a commercial come on TV yep. with all kind of Dairy Queen ice creams. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's right. All, all, There's all types of food, but you know you're on a fast. Yeah. But th that's the thing. You're being enticed. You're right. Am I in? Is it, am I in? It, come on, somebody. For right. real. <laughs> am I the only one on this? Right. And it's like, man, I ain't thinking about this. Right. Where did that come from? Yeah. Okay. All right, but we have to be mindful of that. Yes, yeah, that's right. All right, we can't just go through la la land all the time, that's it, man. That's right. We gotta just like you study your job or you study in school so you can pass tests. We listen. Life is a test. Yes. yes. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? So we yeah. gotta get to that place where we understand the tricks of Satan. And Scripture even tells us, "Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're not unaware of his schemes." That's it. That's right. Okay. We're not unaware of his, of his schemes. He's been doing the same thing since the beginning of time. I don't know why we keep falling for this thing. Amen. And then, listen, anytime he gives us some type of, some type of, uh, 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 of, of temptation or, or trying to entice us, okay, he, he, he dangles that thing in your face because you know you can't have it, okay? He tries to offer some type of fleshly pleasure. Yep. Am I right? Yeah. He tries to offer some type, type of fleshly pleasure, yep. pleasure or some type of advantage in life. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do it this way, amen, if you do it this way, you, you, you'll be ahead in life. Mm -hmm. And then, that, like I said, then he likes to dress it up. Yep. Amen. He likes to dress it up. He likes to put, gift wrap it yep. and put, it, put a bow on top That's of it, it to make it really, really look good. Yeah. But you don't see what's, you don't see the repercussions on the other right. side, though. He's not going to show you the repercussions no, on the other not. side because he's got his domin he's got his minions on each corner <laughs> waiting on you to You're bite. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You're he right. dangled that bait in your face. Really. Amen? <laughs> Just like a fish, he dangled that bait in your yep. face waiting on you to bite. And then when you're hooked, he's going to expose you to everything that you're doing. And, and, that, and that's his key. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying, listen, he's trying to damage your reputation. Yes. Amen. He's trying to damage your testimony. Yes. He's trying to damage your relationship yes. with yes. God. Yes. Amen. Right. But but we have to be mindful of that. Okay? It all starts with our, the way we think. Yes. We have that responsibility. It ain't the preacher's responsibility. All right. Amen. Or the ministers, you're responsible for your life. Yes. Amen. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. And that's what he tries to do. He, he, listen, the thing about Satan, too. The thing about Satan. All right? Mm -hmm. He never shows you, like I said, the repercussions. Mm -hmm. all right. He never shows the... That, that's, just like, that's just like how they show different things on TV. All right? They always show, they always show the, the, you know... In, in any liquor, the Bacardi commercial. Okay. They may have you going through paradise on the commercial. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. I, I'm for real, man. Yeah, they might have right. you going through paradise. Okay? Right. And, and they're showing that bottle, going pouring that pouring that liquor yep. over some ice, and you looking at that ice, and it's in the in those the, listen, the steam is coming off the ice, and I'm telling you, and then for real, if you stroke, if you stroke with alcohol, you're like, oh man, <laughs> look at that. Look, oh my goodness. Yep. Right? Especially, and, and then it's, it's triggered for me too because I, I can even, it, it reminds me of the smell of white liquor when I see it. And I'm not even, I'm not even close to it. It's on TV. Right. But something comes in my mind, I remember that smell. And I'm like, oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Man. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious, y'all. I'm being for real. Come 
Come on, fuck, I'm being serious. Yeah. I, re I, rem I remember that. And, and, then, and then when they when, he, when they dress it up, like you say, they got somebody floating through paradise. Yep. Floating through paradise. Right but what they don't that. show you is all them hang All right now. Hey, Amen. They don't show you. Do you feel what I'm saying? They, they, they don't, they never show you how it destroys families. That's right. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Satan don't want you to see that. Because we know what it really does, y'all. Oh, yeah. Amen. Once you get addicted to that stuff. Yep. And he never, he never shows that yes. part. But this is what scripture says. Right. When your desires has conceived, okay, in verse 15. Mm -hmm. When your desires has conceived, it gives birth to sin. Mm -hmm. And sin, when it's full grown, brings forth death. Mm -hmm. When your desires have been conceived, mm -hmm. that's when you pondered on doing the wrong thing too long. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right? Jesus. Because some of us know better. Right. Okay. And we're trying to reason. Yeah. Yeah. Why should I? Well, you know what? Maybe if I, if I do this, yeah. and, and then and then Satan will, Satan will give you ways to not get caught. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. That's what that's what he does. He yeah. he try to give you ways when you won't get caught. Well, if you do this, if you go that way, if you do that, all right. Well, if you go on this side of town, yeah, then, then then you won't. Ain't it. nobody over there. Yeah, and he's lying to you now. Yeah. He's lying to you. Hey Amen. Yeah. Cause somebody always watching you. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. L listen, it, but, but that's what he does. But but scripture was talking about when it's conceived, when your mind has come into agreement with your body. Yes. Now you at the point of no return. Because you didn't because you didn't ponder on that thing for so long. You didn't contemplate it. You know it's wrong. But you won't turn it off. You yeah. won't turn it off in your mind. Yeah. So now right. when it's fully conceived, your body going to do the thing now. Right. Do you feel what I'm saying? The scripture says, listen, this is what he says. This is what he says. And when the sin is full grown, that means it started off as a baby. Is that right? Yeah. Huh? But it said when it's full grown, it started off as something small. It started off as something small. But guess what? You got away with it the first time. Yeah. Huh? Didn't nobody see me. Didn't you just say that? You got away with it the second time. Looking around, oh man, ain't nobody. Did nobody? Do, do, you, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? We're trying to help each other. We're trying to have victory over oh, oh temptation. Yes. Okay, we're trying to have victory over come on, temptation. Come on, come on. Amen? And you continue to walk in that thing. And now, you at a place when it's full grown, you can't turn it off. Jesus. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? You, you, when it's full grown, this, listen, think about trying to teach, trying to, trying to discipline a full grown man. Man, I'm grown now. You can't tell me when to come and go. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to make this thing plain. When you become a grown woman or a grown man, it really ain't a whole lot your parents can tell you to do. That's what this thing is saying. Once you're full grown, once this thing is full grown, you can't turn it off. Right. Because you didn't indulge in this thing too much. Wow. And that, and that, listen, and it's only got one option left. It brings forth death. That's it. That's it. Sin don't do anything but destroy your That's life. All okay. That's all it does. Yep. We know this. Oh, yes. This ain't nothing new. Yep. Y'all heard y'all heard this sermon before, ain't you? Right. <laughs> Amen. I, I know I have. But 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 that but that's the perspective of Satan. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, but the Bible tells us that yes. there's, there's a different perspective. Okay. Scripture says that God cannot tempt us. To do evil. Mm -hmm. But he does test us. Yes. Right. Amen. Yes. God does test us mm -hmm. and he allows us to be tested. Amen. Yes. Just like he did Job. Yes. Yeah. Amen. He allowed Satan to go to Job yes. and test him. Yes. Do, you, do you feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Listen, in the book of Deuteronomy, this is what scripture said about, about the, uh, the Israelites. Okay. He said, I, I led them into the wilderness for 40 years. Amen. So I can, so I, so, so that I might test yes. them, okay, and I might humble them to see where their heart is. Mm. Okay. That, that's what he said. That's that's the perspective that I want us to start focusing on. 
Okay? He said, I led them into the wilderness so I can humble them and so I can test them yes. to see where their heart is, whether, they, whether or not they're going to obey me or not. Mm -hmm. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's another scripture over in, in, in Corinthians where Paul was trying to tell, he, he was trying to tell the Corinthians what happened back in, back in the Egypt, uh, coming out of Egypt. He said, listen, your forefathers done these type of things as an example for us. That's what he's saying. And, and, and he went down the line. He said, listen, don't get caught up in lustful desires. Yes. Don't get caught up in lustful desires. And he went down the line. And he said, this is what happened to them because they craved and they went after sexual immorality. 23,000 died in one day. Jesus. 23,000. And I said, Lord, what if that happened today? <laughs> Well, that make us wake up and think right. a little bit more if you start seeing people die. Right. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? Just fall dead. Amen? But but listen, in actuality, people are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And scripture went on to say, listen, they tempted, they tempted God and they were killed right. by serpents. Mm. They tempted God and they went on to complain. And listen, nothing has happened by accident. Nothing is... God, God lined up scripture, and that's, that's what Paul said, so that, so that we can have an example. No, we're not in the Old Testament. Right. Amen. You're probably not going to die by getting bit by snakes. Amen. You're probably not going to see 23,000 fall dead because of it. But the same principle applies yes, because does. we're children of God. Yes. Amen. And if he, if he meant it then, he meant it right now. Yes. The thing about it right now, amen, what, listen. Once you refuse to come out of that mess now, he gives you over to a reprobate mind. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yep. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yep. He gives you over to a debased mind. So now you can't even reason no more and try to get out of it. Okay? When he gives you over to that sin. Jesus. All right? But scripture says that he tested them. This is what Psalm 79 says. God trieth the heart mm -hmm. and reign. That's your deepest emotion. Okay? No, another scripture, Psalms 20, 20, 26 says... This, this, this is what David said. Examine me, O Lord, mm -hmm. and try me. Yes. And test my mind and test my heart. I said, wow, that had to be a mature Christian. Mm -hmm. To ask God, this, this is what was happening with David. David realized, that's why, that's why the Bible says that he was a man after God's own heart. Yep. I want you to try me, Lord. I want you to try my heart because I want to be approved by you. Amen. Show me the areas in my life that I'm messed up in. I don't care what people think no more. I just want to get right. Do you feel what I'm saying? Show me my areas, Lord. I don't care what it, that's what he that's the place he had gotten to, and that's what we all ought to get to. I'm tired of living his life. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Lord, help me try my heart, try my mind. Because I want to think like you, Father God. And I want to represent you right now, Lord God. That's what we got to get to. All right? The scripture says, blessed is the man who endures temptation. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. For when, when he has been approved, approved by who? God. Man, man can't do it. When he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, okay, which the Lord has promised those who love him. And that's the mindset we have to get to, y'all. Okay, we know we're drawn away by our own desires. We know we're drawn away and enticed by Satan. But I challenge each and every one of you to start looking at your trials as a test from God. Uh -huh. Maybe that's what I was thinking about. Now, maybe if we change our perspective, yeah. maybe we'll listen. Maybe we'll start winning the battle over temptation and say, right. you know what? This this is a test from God. And listen, this is what the Bible says. Blessed is the man who endured temptation. There was a re reward. He didn't listen. He didn't say you weren't gonna go through temptation, okay? But there's a reward once you endure it. And it, yes. listen, it's gonna get hard sometimes. Yep. But but we have to develop that mindset and say, you know what? This is a test from God. Yes. Amen. And I know if I pass this test, there's greater for me. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? I will be approved by God. To be elevated, okay? And, and, and once he approves us, y'all, he gives us more blessings, okay? And, he, and he, he entrusts us with more responsibility, amen? That's what Paul said. You entrusted us with this gospel. We was approved by you. You entrusted us with this gospel, not to please people, but to please you. So that's how we got to start looking at it, as a test, okay? A test from God. I like to think about, too, the, in the natural. 
okay, when, when you talk about tests and talk about being approved, okay, every, every, every new car that's made has to go through a series of tests, mm -hmm. right? Before, before, you can, before you can, the manufacturer can send that Toyota to a Toyota dealership, it has to go through a series of tests. Uh -huh. And if it don't pass the test, guess what they send it back to? The manufacturer. All we got right. to gotta go back to the drawing board on this one, okay? Because you didn't pass this test. And that's the, th that's the same thing with God, okay? When, when you talk about testing, okay? When you talk about a series of tests, because that's all this journey is about, y'all. That's yes. all it's about. Yep. Okay? The ups and downs, all the things we go to go through, you have to go through trials to be tested, to be approved for the next level. Yes. Amen. Yes. And when you get it, when you get it wrong, listen, you can't disappoint God. Because God already knows you're gonna fall. All right. Do you feel what I'm saying? You can grieve the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but 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 what God does when we go through tests and we and we and we don't pass that test, that's 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 his way of telling us that there's more to be worked on. All right. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's 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 more to be worked on. That listen, that car needed more maintenance, okay? That's what God is saying. Okay, son or daughter, you didn't you didn't get that right. Now listen, let's go back to the drawing board. Let's mm -hmm. you need some more maintenance in that area of patience. Yep. Okay? Because you just went off on for no reason. All right. You just went off for no reason. So let's come on back. You, you, you failed that test. It's okay. Right. It's okay. Because a, a righteous man falls seven times, but a righteous man do what? He gets, he gets back up. So that, that, that's the place we got to get to. One last scripture. Corinthians 13, 1 and 13. This is what scripture says. No temptation has overtaken man. Yes. Okay? Except that it's coming to man. But God is faithful. Yes. There's no temptation that has ever, ever in the history of human that has overtaken us that's not coming to man. That's right. Millions of people are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's no temptation new under the sun. All right. Do you feel what I'm saying? This is what scripture says. Who will not, God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. Mm -hmm. Okay? But with the temptation will also make a way oh, of escape mm -hmm. that you may be able to. Mm -hmm. To bear it. Yes, Y'all believe that scripture? Yep. That, that scripture tells me that God sees something in us. And first of all, scripture says he's already blessed us with all the blessings in the heavenly places. Everything he's given us, he's already given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. Okay? He's already given that. So in that scripture, God is saying, I've already equipped you to endure this trial. Even though we don't get it right all the time, it's... We can because of this scripture, right? Mm -hmm. And scripture, all the scripture says, listen, even in your temptation, I will always give you a way of escape. Mm -hmm. You yes. always got a choice. You always got a choice. Yes. Amen. When you was on your way to do certain, and, and then sometimes God intervenes. Yep. Okay. Your car broke down. You were going over there to do something, but your car broke down. All right. Do, do, do you feel what I'm saying? You about to go, you about to get, yes, you about to go off on your boss, amen, but your phone wouldn't go through. Jesus. Do, do, do you feel what I'm saying? That was your way of escape. But sometimes we ignore that. And I'm still going, I'm still going, but, but that was your choice. Let me use phone. Let me use your phone, amen. But that's what scripture says, y'all. All right. So, but but we got to listen. But we have to get to that place to where we're trying to win this battle. Scripture yes. says God is faithful. Okay. All right. It's good to know that the power of God lives on the inside of us. Yes. Okay. Scripture tells us to submit to God and resist the devil. Yeah. Submit to His ways, y'all. Yeah. Submit to what He's telling us to do. Then resist the devil. Amen. And He will flee from you. Amen. If God believes in you, listen. God is never testing us for us to fall. He That's wants to right. see you succeed. That's right. He wants to see you go to another level. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to use your gifts. Amen. But it, yes. but, but it has to, your, listen, you have to be tested by fire before you're elevated. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I know it don't feel good all the time. It don't feel good all the time. That's why I say I don't ever want what somebody else got because I don't know what they went through. I don't know what they went through to get there. I don't know what kind of test and trial they went through to get to where they are. God bless you. Amen. And I'm wise enough to know now, especially with Christian folks, if they're really elevated, they had to go through a lot. Amen. That word don't just come out. 
fluent like that right. without them going through something. That's Do you right. feel what I'm saying? And going through that, but we have to trust and believe, y'all, that God wants to see us on top. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do y'all believe that? Amen. All right. That's how we'll. That's how we'll start to win in this battle Amen. over temptation. Amen. 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 Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 And not only God, y'all, I want to see you win too. Amen. Amen. I know how difficult it is. Yes. It don't stop. Mm. It's always something. Mm -hmm. The Amen. next temptation, the next trial. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we got to trust and lean on God. Amen. 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 We're going to open the doors of the church. Amen. 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 Maybe you haven't given your life to Christ. Amen. Amen. We offer Christ this morning. Amen. Amen. Maybe you've never surrendered your life and trusted God as your Lord and Savior. Today is the day. Amen. The scripture tells us to take heed while it is today. Mm -hmm. Amen. While, while it is today. Because tomorrow ain't promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Maybe you want prayer. Maybe you need prayer. Amen. We all need it. Amen. Maybe you want to intercede for somebody this morning. Amen. temptation. And that thing weighing you out. Amen. Maybe you losing the battle of temptation. Amen. We're going to pray for strength. Amen. Amen. We're going to we're gonna pray for the spirit of God to, to, to rule in your life. Amen. That's what it all boils down to. Let God rule in your life. 